everybody. This morning I thought we could read a book called Angelina Ballerina. More than anything else in the world, Angelina loved to dance. She danced all the time and she danced everywhere. And often she was so busy dancing that she forgot about the other things that she was supposed to be doing. Angelina's mother was always calling her, Angelina, it's time to straighten up your room now, or please get ready for school now, Angelina. But Angelina never wanted to go to school. She never wanted to do anything but dance. One night, Angelina danced in her dreams. When she woke up in the morning, she knew that she was going to be a real ballerina someday. When Mrs. Mosling called Angelina for breakfast, Angelina was standing on her bed doing curtsies. At playtime, she twirled around and spun across the playground so fast that none of the little boys in her class could catch up with her and they were all very cross. After school, she did a beautiful arabesque in the kitchen and she knocked over a pitcher of milk and a plate of her mother's best cheddar cheese pies. Uh-oh. Oh, Angelina, your dancing is nothing but a nuisance, exclaimed her mother. She sent Angelina straight upstairs to her room, and she went to have a talk with Mr. Mosling. Mrs. Mosling shook her head and said, I just don't know what to do about Angelina. Mr. Mosling thought a while, and then he said, I think I might have an idea. That same afternoon, Mr. and Mrs. Mosling went out together before the shops closed. The next morning at breakfast, Angelina found a large pet box with her name on it. See, right there. Inside the box, was a pink ballet dress and a pair of pink ballet slippers. Angelina's father smiled at her kindly. I think you are ready to take ballet lessons, he said. Angelina was so excited that she jumped straight up in the air and she landed with one foot in her mother's sewing basket. Oh no. The next day, Angelina took her pink slippers and ballet dress and went to her first lesson at Miss Lily's Ballet School. There were nine other little girls in her class and they all practiced curtsies and plies and ran around the room together, just like fairies. Then they skipped and twirled about until it was time to go home. Congratulations, Angelina, said Miss Lily. You are a good little dancer and if you work hard, you may grow up to be a real ballerina one day. Angelina ran all the way home to give her mother a big hug. I am the happiest little girl in the world today, she said. From that day on, Angelina came when her mother called her. She straightened up her room. She went to school on time. She helped her mother make cheddar cheese pies, and she even let the boys catch her in the playground sometimes. Angelina was so busy dancing at Miss Lily's that she didn't need to dance at supper time or bedtime on the way to school anymore. She went every day to her ballet lessons and she worked very hard for many years. Until at last she became the famous ballerina, Mademoiselle Angelina and people came from far and near to watch her lovely dancing.
And that, my friends, is the story of Angelina Ballerina. Have a nice day.